everyone, welcome back to my channel, Delicious Budgeting. My name is Anna. Today I'm going to share with you all what I purchased during Black Friday. So we have a bit of a smaller haul this year. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle, and how to save money. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn on notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And let's just go ahead and get started. And if you've been on my channel, you heard me rave about the perfume and cologne sampler sets. I decided to get mine during Ulta's Black Friday because I felt like you got the most bang for your buck. So I picked up a cologne sampler set for my husband, Ernie. He's been wanting to try out a new cologne. So I thought this was a great way to do so. So as I mentioned, it was $15. And when I was purchasing one for him and then the woman's perfume sampler set, they had a lot of bad reviews. I'm thinking what happened here? Cause I loved mine from last year. There was a lot of confusion where people thought you're getting like the little bottle shown here, but it does state in the description how large the samplers are. And some people are saying like they were embarrassed to give it as a gift. Don't be embarrassed because like I mentioned, like cologne and perfume are not cheap at all. And most of the time, like these little sampler sets come with like a coupon to redeem for a full size. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So you get a lot of variety here. And I would say it would probably last about like two to four days, depending how much the person uses. Also, this is really good for travel. So you don't have to worry about bringing like your cologne or perfume bottle. So I would highly recommend it. And then also it pretty much pays for itself. So this coupon right here is $15 off a full size cologne or perfume bottle, the ones included in here. If someone or yourself like really likes one of them and wants to purchase a full size, so that's really nice. And then what I like the most about this sampler set is you get a automizer. So you get to put like your own cologne or perfume in there. It's very durable and sturdy. I've used mine before and it hasn't broken on me. So this automizer holds a lot more than these samples here. So if you really like one that you already have, you can take a lot more. Very durable and the other perfume sampler sets from like Macy's and Kohl's didn't have that. So this is why I purchased mine at Ulta's Black Friday. And of course, I got one for myself. I actually still have mine from last year. I like to save mine though for going like on a weekend trip or we're traveling or maybe I just want to like spray myself throughout the day. Absolutely love it. And especially when traveling, I'll put like two to three in there and they're so tiny and I could like throw them away when I'm done so I don't have to bring it back. So it's just like less to pack less of a hassle. You don't have to worry about your expensive perfume or cologne bottle breaking. So I love it for that reason alone. Also, there is one that I actually really like I'm wearing today. I think it's like called something idle. I don't know. I think it's Lancome though. That one actually smells pretty good. So like I said, it's a great way to test out without buying like all these perfume and cologne bottles. So it looks very similar to the men's cologne set. So you have a a lot of different options at $15 coupon and then you have this automizer here and then I got this big sexy hair hairspray it was about like four dollars and fifty cents I want to say so no matter how much I tease my hair and hairspray I feel like there's just some days where I have no volume so hopefully this will give me big sexy hair we shall see but I'm very excited to use this also it is travel friendly then I got this red lipstick from the peanuts and wet and wild collection so this was only like four dollars or so but when I saw the YouTube videos on it it looked so pretty I actually already opened mine so it's like a really beautiful red for the holidays and it has like this glitter in it like this gold glitter it's just like so beautiful but it's not like that chunky like gritty glitter it's just very smooth very pretty I actually wore it for a Christmas photo so how to get a head start on that so I would say definitely get it if you like red lipstick if you want a good red lip for the holiday without the sale it's still affordable but it's limited edition so definitely get your hands on it if you can and they had this Anastasia liquid lipstick for ten dollars I got the shade Veronica because that was like my absolute favorite shade back in college I used to wear that like literally almost every single day when I could I remember like my classmates or like people around the campus would stop and ask me like what lipstick I was wearing so it just brings back like a good time the shades very nostalgic for me so I thought why not it's like a mauvey like purpley color let me open it and show you what I mean this is what the outside of the tube looks like I know at first glance it kind of looks like a pinky nude but it is a lot deeper than that from what I remember so let me show you the swatch so it's kind of like a brown like mauve -y color if you can kind of pick that up in camera it looks like a lot more mauve -y in person but it's just like so beautiful I absolutely love it and it's like a high-end lipstick for ten dollars I definitely could not pass it up and like I said it just brought back like good memories for me like back in my college days when I was a little bit younger and 
it, you know, it's just like that nostalgic product. Then I got one of Jaclyn Hill's liquid lipsticks. So I got the shade Krabby. I felt like online these swatches were a little bit off, but maybe I'll like exchange it in person if I don't like it. I was trying to look at her video too to see which one I would like because I just want to try like some more of her products, but they are expensive. So when they do go on sale, I definitely try to grab it. So, oh my goodness, this is very orange. Okay. Honestly, I'm probably going to exchange it for another lip color. It looked a little bit more nude when she did the swatches or like more of like a burnt orange. I really don't, it's like a pretty color, but I just honestly don't see myself really wearing that to be quite honest. So the formula felt nice, but I will probably exchange this for a different color. If I don't find a color that I like, then I'll probably return it just keeping it honest here and the product I was super shocked at so this one it was during Ulta's Black Friday sale but it went on sale like Tuesday the 22nd I want to say so I like marked it on my calendar and when I saw that they had the Fenty like lip glosses for $10 I was like oh are these gonna sell out immediately woke up at like 7 a.m well I had to go to work that day so it's fine so I woke up at 7 a.m and I made sure I got that in my car and I added it because I've been hearing so many great things about the gloss bombs, how like shiny they are. So I got the shade Fenty Glow that looked really like pretty and like neutral. So I was just, I'm still shocked it was $10 just given how good they are. And this is what the product looks like. This is actually my first Fenty Beauty product. I want to try more, but this is a budging channel and I'm just staying true to my roots. I love high-end makeup, like back in high school, I would always ask for high-end makeup when I first got my job. I would buy high-end makeup because back in that day, we didn't really have like, oh, check out this dupe. Like we really didn't have that. It was just kind of like, oh, high-end makeup was better. But now I'm seeing like drugstore makeup could be like the same, sometimes even better. I still like high-end makeup, but I purchased my high-end makeup during like these like Black Friday sales, like Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, Fall Haul, Sephora VIB, you know, sales like that. So I'm actually really excited to give this a try. I hope more of her things go on sale so I could try it. So let me swatch that for you all. Okay, so it does look a little bit more like orange-like, but I think it could be pretty with like a nude lipstick underneath. I'm gonna try this one out. I don't want to just say I don't like it but it is like very juicy and doesn't feel sticky at all. So I'm really excited. And then I also got another Fenty Beauty product, another lip gloss balm in the shade Mob Wives. I actually might try this out right now, even though I have like a little bit of lipstick on, you can't really tell. I feel like it just kind of faded away. So it's like this beautiful like mauve color. I just absolutely love it. Actually, it would probably pair very well with that Anastasia Veronica liquid lipstick. So let me show you the swatch first. Oh my goodness, that is just so pretty. Actually, I'm just gonna try it. Oh my goodness, I tried scooting closer to the camera and like my legs are asleep right now. Anywho, this is such a pretty lip gloss. I know it doesn't look as mauve as it did in the swatch, but I have a lipstick underneath, so maybe that's why. It looks so juicy, it's not sticky at all. It actually feels moisturizing, so this is like very good stuff. Definitely worth the hype, definitely worth the money. Yeah, I am definitely keeping that. The next item might be super random and might come off as a shock. So during Target's Black Friday ad, this purchase is actually for me. I purchased Grand Theft Auto because I used to play this when I was younger and it's just very like nostalgic. So I've been wanting to purchase it. I think it was like normally like $20 or so, but it's 15. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Here's my sign. I don't know when I'll be able to play it though because I've been so busy this holiday season already. So it is like days after Thanksgiving. I'm trying to finish decorating the house. I'm also filming the process of me decorating for Christmas. I want to do like a little Christmas intro. We just got done with like our Christmas photo. And then we finally like made up a little mock-up on Shutterfly. Got my 10 free cards with the little coupon code. And then I'm just like trying to like film ahead of time. Also candle day is coming up December 3rd. So like that's my little mini Christmas. And I'm gonna try and like film edit and upload that day so I definitely need to do that so this will like be my little reward at the end of the tunnel just need to get some YouTube work done also been doing some extra things at work as well and we've been trying to go to the gym four times a week not we've been trying to we actually have been going four times a week and if there's a day we're busy we'll like swatch the days 
and I'm trying to eat healthier and do my holiday shopping, wrap presents, all that stuff, but we're getting there. The last three items, I saved the best for last. So if you've been on my channel, I know I normally show the things I'm most excited for at the beginning of the video, but I wanted to switch things up a bit. I finally invested in my shark vacuum during Walmart's Black Friday ad. So, or Black Friday, I should say. So I have two small dogs, one of them Coco. She has like a really gorgeous fluffy tail. But with that, she'll just bring in like random sticks or like grass will be stuck in her tail and it just gets on my floors every single day. And for the most part, I do work from home. So like all my breaks and lunches, I would like sweep a few times a day. And when I bring in the vacuum, the room and all that, I don't just get that spot. I just get the whole house. I'm like, why not? It's already in here. I thought it was worth the investment. I have it start like every morning. I love how I could be working and my house is getting like vacuum. I absolutely love that thing. The only con though, it has been like, it does work, but then it'll like stop working. So I'm still like working with it a little bit. Like either it gets like clogged too fast and it empties itself. Oh, I love that function on it as well. And then also too, like our Wi-Fi is like not the best. Like I don't know why or what's going on. So it's a working progress, but I definitely love it though. It does a great job. It literally, it's like every nook and cranny that it can. It could even fit like underneath like my little like glass case over here, which I was shocked at, but it truly does get every single room and I have it going on like twice a day because why not? And it'll go back to charge itself. So I absolutely love it. Also, one of our TVs in our bedroom, it was starting to go out. It was just kind of old. So we got the 55 inch at Walmart for 188. I was so shocked we were able to get it because last year we couldn't get one, but this year we were able to. So very grateful for that. Hey everyone, it is me again. I am currently editing the video right now and realized I forgot to mention the third item that I purchased. So we were going to purchase a ring floodlight cam from Kohl's that was $140. And we really did want that so we can get like an overview over our garage. But then my mom sent me something and it was $17 off of Amazon. I'll see if I can include a photo here. If not, I'll have it linked down below. And this other YouTuber, I think she's called like Till Vacuum Do Us Part, had it on her YouTube page and the quality was so crystal clear and it's only $17. So we decided to save some money and go with that. However, it won't get here until January. That's the route we decided to go. So I just thought I'd throw that in there real fast and back to the video. And that's it for my Black Friday purchases. Let me know in the comment box down below what your favorite purchase was from today's video or your favorite Black Friday purchase. I would definitely love to know. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and I'll see you all on my upcoming videos. Bye everyone.